was thinking about the 16th ayah of the surah, Surah Al-Hadid. In this surah, this is a Madani surah. By most accounts of the Sahaba, it was already four years in Medina when this surah came down. So hijrah happened four years ago. The Muslims have gone through a lot in these four years. And one of the problems they've experienced is that overall there's, been a, there's becoming a problem in motivation. The Iman is not what it used to be. And Allah Azza wa Jal notices that there are some weak elements in the Muslim community. Even among the, you know, there's some who just became Muslim, they don't realize what they've gotten themselves into. There are some who are suffering from the disease of hypocrisy, nifaq. Among the ranks of the Sahaba, there's not somebody who has a label on their forehead, I'm the munafiq, I'm munafiq. It's, they're inside that community and it's a problem. But Allah addresses all of them together. What's beautiful about this surah, even though it is madani, even though it is madani, six ayat of this surah sound completely makki. First six ayat sound like they're makki in Quran. سَبَّحَ لِلَّهِ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ Everything in the skies and the earth declares Allah's perfection. He's the ultimate authority. He's the one full of wisdom. The ayat, this, this ayah is introducing us to Allah. You would think the ayat that introduce humanity to Allah would happen in Makki Quran or Madani Quran? Happen in Makki Quran. Next ayah, لَهُ مُلْكُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ أَلَا يَعْرِفُ الْمُسْلِمِ بَعْدِ The Muslim doesn't know already. لَهُ مُلْكُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ He owns every, he owns the kingdom of the skies and the earth. يُحْيِي وَيُمِيت He gives life and he gives death. وَهُوَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٍ And he's in complete control over everything. Muslims, fourth year after Hijrah. Don't know this? They know this already or no? They know this already. These are ayat that you would think Allah would give to Quraysh. They don't think about the creation of Allah. They don't think about the sky. They don't think about the earth. The Muslim already knows all of this, I told you. But Allah is making me and making you think about this again. So let's start over. Let's start over. And let's start over this time knowing that Allah, knowing that we are Muslim is still telling us this. سَبَّحَ لِلَّهِ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ Everything in the sky declares Allah's perfection. In parentheses, what is wrong with you? What happened to your tasbih? وَهُوَ الْعَزِيزِ He's the ultimate authority. How come my authority is not enough that you don't respect it? Al-Hakim It's full of wisdom. Why don't you trust that the things I'm telling you to do are good for you? Why don't you have any confidence in my wisdom? He says, لَهُ مُلْكُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ The kingdom of the skies and the earth belongs to him. Why are you afraid of your enemy? Why are you afraid they have something, they have a weapon in their hand, they have money in their hand, they have power in their hand, that will somehow harm you? There is nothing in the skies and the earth that is outside of my kingdom. All of the battle between truth and falsehood is happening inside Allah's kingdom, and inside my kingdom. What do you have to fear someone else for? Why are you afraid of anyone else? لَهُ مُلْكُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ Are you afraid of dying? He says, يُحْيِي وَيُمِيت He gives life, he gives death. Why are you worried about life and death? He will give and he will take because it's not yours to keep. I don't, you, we call it my life. I want to live my life. Who, who says it's yours? Where'd you get mine from? People say, my hand hurts. Is your hand? Well, how much you pay for it? Where'd you get it from? Amazon? Where'd you get your hand from? My life, my hand, my car, my house. What's mine? He gives life. He gives death. He's given you this opportunity and he will take this opportunity. وَهُوَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٍ And no, no, no. He wouldn't do that. No, he can do anything. He's in control of all things. وَهُوَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٍ هُوَ الْأَوَّلُ وَالْآخِرِ He's the first and the last. And this has many interpretations, but at the personal level, the first priority, the first thought in your day should be what? Allah. The last thing you leave this world with, the last thing you do before you go to sleep, you think about your master. What did I do for you, my master, today? Me, this insignificant creature, what did I do today for you? I'm going to this bed, and I'm going to sleep, and I don't know if I'll wake up again. And I don't know if I have to stand in front of you after I... Before I wake up, I might have to stand in front of you. My first and my last thought. 